hi everyone so let's just do an example where the two diodes are connected in parallel with each other so assuming that you are having certain supply over here and this is some current limiting resistor okay and here the two diodes are connected parallelly fine while you are going to determine the output voltage at this point okay so let's just call it d1 and this is d2 and assuming that both diodes are the silicon diode so that when they both are forward biased then the forward voltage drop is equal to 0.7 volt okay let's assume the magnitude of this battery or the supply voltage is equal to 10 volts and the resistor r is equal to 0.33 kilo ohms fine so at this particular point what we are supposed to do we are interested in determining the value of the output voltages in this case plus the current flowing through each diode so let's just call this current as i1 and this is i2 while this is the current i this current i is actually divided into two branches since the diodes are connected in parallel so in parallel the current is divided and we can say that i is equal to i1 plus i2 so the first step is to determine the value of this current i so i is equal to what but before that we need to make sure or need to check which of these diode is forward biased since the general rule of the conduction of the diode is that the anode should always be at the positive potential as compared to the cathode so what will happen since the plus 10 volt supply is connected at the anodes of both diodes so both will be forward biased and when we will draw the equivalent circuit in this particular case then what will happen we can replace them with a 0 0.7 volt battery okay so this is 0 0.7 volt here you will have 0 0.7 volt 0 0.33 kilo ohms as it is and here the plus 10 volt fine when you will apply the kvl in this first loop you will get so according to this you will have minus 10 volt plus i into 0 0.33 kilo ohms plus 0 0.7 volt should be equal to zero since i applied the kvl over here okay and from here i can be simply determined as 10 minus 0 0.7 volts divided by 0 0.33 kilo ohms so that is equal to 9.3 volts divided by 0 0.33 kilo ohms let's just simplify it so 9.3 divided by 9.3 you will get the value of the current equal to 28.18 milli amperes as we mentioned earlier i is equal to the summation of i1 and i2 and assuming that the both diodes are having the same characteristics so that's why the equal current will be distributed across each diode so i1 is equal to i2 and it is equal to i divided by 2 so simply we will have 28.18 milli amperes divided by 2 this results in 14. Point 9 milli amperes okay 14.09 milli amperes so this is the current flowing across each diode now what about the voltages since we are measuring the voltage across this diode which is actually forward biased so v out will be equal to 0 0.7 volt simply thank you for watching